Put him back into Elder Scrolls. I'm just eating a brownie. What a special brownie, regular brownie. Was none last night. As per usual, I've got the printer going too. What do you think of my luxurious Printing off the undisguised mimic. Fungus and a poultry fire. All the comforts of home. Anyway, you said you had information about my brother, Oran. What did you find out? No, that can't be right. Oran's honourable and noble. He's a model soldier. What? My brother has always been interested in the Ashlanders, even showed them a kindness the rest of the house doesn't approve of. I know the tribe that Oran liked to help, brought them supplies and such. He'd go and visit their camp whenever our father wasn't paying attention. Will you go? She can handle herself just fine, hero. Rhea, grab your things. It's time to go. Go? Why? What's going on? The Warclaws are marching toward this cave along with... Half the House Redwing soldiers in Balmora. We need to go now. Damn it. They must have followed us. I'll get my stuff. Dealing with an arrogant, impatient, overconfident young woman. Now <laughs> I know how my mother must have felt. We need to move. It won't take those damn cats long to find this place, not with their sense of smell. The back tunnels. Better than heading out the front door and right into the main contingent of Redoran troops. Councillor Eris brought additional soldiers from town. He's intent on getting his daughter, and he may have the numbers. One more thing. The back tunnels wind their way through territory that House Redoran recently acquired. We may run into some resistance. Where is that mean what's stable to you? Um and Damn! Those cat bastards are harder to shape than a blind date.
can't get captured and taken back to my father. Not when I'm this close to finding my brother. Ready for anything. I thought the resistance was being nature based. Damn it. Drop the pike. Hold on, I'll be back. I gotta get the tail. Didn't grip it hard enough, and the condensation made it slip. Oh, my father ruins everything. I'm so close to finding my brother, and he shows up to drag me back home. Well, I'm not. You, you do that for me. Thanks, I guess. But what can you possibly do against... Clever. Tell my father whatever he wants to hear. That might actually work. Afterward, meet me at the Ashlander camp to the south. My brother... Once I find Oran and make sure he's all right, I'll meet with my father. But that meeting will be on my terms, not his. Halt! Who goes there? Stand down. These outlanders work for me. The captain reported that he had seen you in the area. There are also multiple reports that Vea has... I also said that the captain has his own resources. The war claws report to Bribbon, not me. Look, it was a gamble, I admit. An opportunity I couldn't let slip away. He won't make me feel guilty about trying to find my... Very well. We'll do this her way. Vea can be as stubborn as her mother sometimes. But tell my daughter that my patience won't lie. Do as I command, and let them pass. Certainly aren't Ashlanders, not with those tails. This is disturbing. I can't believe this. Why allow the war claws to run roughshod over the camp like this? What's House Redoran thinking? And what in the name of the three have they done with the Ashland? My brother often visited this camp. Took me along a couple of times. It used to be such a vibrant place, so full of life. If Ulran was here, he'd never stand for the war claws invading the camp. He told me the Ashlanders were the same as you and I. Different beliefs don't necessarily make people bad. We need to see if we can find out what happened. I really want to help, but Nario won't hear of it. We don't get our hands dirty unless there's a writ attached. She's so fond of reminding me. Bea, I don't think this is a good idea. We're trying to keep you out of House Redwin hands, remember? 
You're not my parent, Nari. I can take care of myself, even if the mother of Jay is Damn it, Bella. You know I hate that title. Hey. If I'd realized how popular this camp was going to be with Outlanders, I would have moved the tribe ages ago. Ah, Uran the Exile. He disgraced his family and lost his status, but remained. I assume they dragged him off to the mine, along with most of the tribe who refused to let those tribunal dogs walk all over us. Or should I say tribunal cats? And it's a small hole in the ground. But it served us well until the Redorans and their war claws arrived. Now they toss my people aside. Get the key to the mine from either the war claws commander or the supply yurt, whichever suits your needs. Perhaps you'll find to keep the head and the body separate. As long as I'm here, I can't offer my people hope. I have no doubt. However, my place remains. Oh, not so the captain called them traitors and savages. Said the good roasting was more than they deserved. Oi! Not a fucking Albert. Right, dude. Oh, he's dead. Down here. Come on. Wait. What's that smell? Vaya, stay back. We don't need to see this. What happened here? Oh gods, they murdered these poor Ashlanders. Oh no. Oran. Oran. We can't please. You can't be dead. You just can't. Bea shouldn't have had to see this. Even I'm finding it hard to believe that the mercenaries would slaughter these Ashlanders for no reason. Not to mention the son of a house counselor. It doesn't make any sense. They were spawned. Do drawing with him. Bea shouldn't have had. I suppose anything could happen in the heat of the moment, but to kill a veteran, even an exiled one, that's presumptuous, even for the war claws. I wonder if I've seen these before. They use them in East March to record and send important messages. They're expensive. If you're listening to my voice, know that my time is short, and what I have to say is important. Brother, 
Is that you? Everything that happened was a deliberate act to discredit me. I need to report the event so my sister can learn the truth about her brother. You have to understand, I don't share my house's hatred and distrust of Ashlanders. So, during my normal patrol, when I heard that Ashland... I arrived to find one of my soldiers arguing with the Ashlanders. He spat at them, called them savages. When one of the Ashlanders... I ordered the soldier to stand down, but he ignored me and stepped toward the second Ashlander. I killed my own soldier. I had to. Before I knew it, I was dragged before the Redoran Council and exiled. I never... I believe I was set up for this fall, but I don't know by who. I came to this camp for shelter, but House Redoran's reach grows ever longer. All run! Damn it! What am I supposed to do now? Run front your family. He's not supposed to be dead. That wasn't the way this was supposed to end. What am I going to do now? Damn Oran for leaving me. I still don't understand. Oran said someone set him up to fall. Who would do such a thing? And why would they do it? So that's why they exiled him? That's why they killed him? He was too damn good? That's the problem? Oh, I'll find them all right. And when I do, they'll pay for what happened to Oran. I swear by Mephali. I agree with Oran's assessment. Certainly sounds like someone led him into a situation guaranteed to make him fail. I didn't say that. I'm just not sure how to proceed. We're entering dangerous waters here, going up against... I'm going to take Bea and head back to our safe house in Balmora. They found our cave, but the abandoned basement is still secure. After that, I'm not sure. We can't just kill with wild abandon. We follow a code. We only execute those whose names appear on sanctioned writs. If we kill respectable citizens without... You do that, but be careful. We're not sure who in the house read it. Seems like so far, Vibe Vals the best written um, DLC. And so the Outlander returns, as we discussed in the swamp. I expected you... Complication? What kind of complication? I ordered my soldiers to stand down and let you do things your... No, that's not 
possible. My son was banished, ordered to leave Vardenfell and never... Vea was with you? And you left her out there? By the three, everything is unraveling no matter how. Tell my daughter I'm sorry. Tell her she needs to stay away. If you'll excuse me, I need some time to consider everything you've told me. Once I determine the best way to proceed, I'll contact you. It was never meant to be an attack. I sent Captain Briven to clear land that already belonged to House Redoran. The Ashlanders were given an opportunity. House Redoran has been slowly expanding in that direction for years. We claimed that area almost a year ago, but we were forced to temporarily abandon it. When a map Redoran depends on that land for hunting and resources. The Ashlanders are like a plague of insects. They sweep into it. The captain serves House Redoran with honor and dedication. He's out doing his job. If Briven had anything to do with my son's death, he would have reported it to me. He doesn't know. I'll speak to Briven when he returns. But understand. God, you're a fucking idiot. Everyone who's not us is a savage. Here we go. Outlander, over here. Now you told me what you found in the Ashlander mine. I can't imagine what Vaya must be. Now you has responsibilities to tend to. Morag Tong responsibilities. Understand? She. You do understand. And now you imply you're as dense as the ash storms coming off Red Mountain. Good to know, even the mother of one other thing. Nayu's job concerns House Redoran. That's why she didn't want Veya to accompany her on this one. Veya's grief-stricken, angry, and ready to lash out at anyone and any I have experience getting on a lot of people's bad side. Something about who Nayu's target is. Thinks the target may know something about what happened to her. Carefully, and with your hands empty and clearly visible. She's in the safe house beneath Balmora. Sure. I don't need a nursemaid, no matter what Nari you might. Oh, it's you. Sorry about that. Did Arshaw send you to check up on me? I swear, the next person that treats me like a child is going to find my dagger in this. No, I don't think so. It's just been difficult. Finding poor Auron in the ash. I know, but Nariu's writ. It involves a Redoran counselor. Exactly the opportunity I've been waiting for. The well, Nariu wouldn't tell me any specifics, but she trained me well. It wasn't hard to sneak a glance at the writ before she took off. Her target's at a Renan Manor, out in the swamp, not far from that smelly cave. I appreciate you agreeing to see what you can learn at a Renan Manor. My father used to say it was used by counselors as a retreat, but mother always told me it was where they conducted business at that's all I've been doing, thinking. And I think Auron was right. I think Riven's as stubborn as my father when it comes to following the rules and regulations of House Redoran. Auron, politics, foreign relations, the Ashlanders, you name an issue and Auron and Riven were probably on. You, you did? How did he take it? Really? I suppose that makes sense. I think he loves us in his own way. But what else did he... He didn't expect... <laughs> My father doesn't know his children as well as he thinks. Either of them. That's what... I can't agree to that. I need to figure out what happened.
expected you hours ago, hero. It's not polite to keep an assassin waiting. Ach, chill out. I was wondering how long it was going to take Vea to convince you to follow me. But she thought I didn't notice when she glanced at my writ, didn't she? Where is... I know Vea wants answers. But this is my job. There are rules. Especially where the lords of the... First, don't kill any Redrans. That's a violation of my writ and could have serious consequences for both of us. Second, you sneak around and search for anything that pertains to Auron's exile while I figure out how to deal. We need to be invisible. These things... It's unusual, but not unheard of. True, most writs taken out against the houses target low to mid-ranking officials. The Grand Master is cautious when it comes to accepting such a high-profile writ. Apparently, though, this target has been very bad. Councillor Dovera has been conspiring with House Drez to promote the slave trade and avoid scrutiny by Redrin and Pact officials. She played a dangerous but profitable... I'm not privy to the laborious investigations that took place. In cases like these, though, the target usually becomes complacent and lets her guard. That's the question, isn't it? It nags at us. I'm not saying that. Accidents happen. Riven's name keeps coming up. At the very least, he was Oron's best friend once. He might be able to... Vea's my apprentice, and I'll decide when she's ready to take on a mission. That's how it works. Her actions are my actions. They have to be. My order came this close to being eliminated. It's only recently that we've started to make a call. The front door is guarded like a bank vault. Maybe there's another way in through one of the buildings by the docks.
This looks promising. Might even lead to the wine cellars. I could use a good bottle of wine. See what you can find pertaining to Uran. I've got a dagger and a writ with Councillor Dolvara's name on them. If we don't find anything, maybe we can ask for an invitation to the upcoming council meeting. I'm sure they'd be happy to answer our questions. It wasn't even paying attention. So House Redoran issued an advisory against the Morog Tong. That rather good that's going to do the counselor. Go, but it seems that so Councillor Dovra does know something about Vea's brother. Damn it all. Now I suppose you want to actually talk to her. Of course we do. I specifically waited for you to arrive because I figured that would be the case. <laughs> Still doesn't mean I'm happy about blurring the line between helping you. We discovered that the next meeting of the High Council will take place at the consulate outside Balra. The war claws and the Ashlander abuse aren't completely sanctioned by the house, and Dolvara was present when Ulran was exiled. Not a bad haul. That means we have to get Dolvara to spill her guts before I spill her guts. Just keep your wits about you, hero. Dolvara wields her feminine charm. Be quick with your questions, hero. When I slip in, so do my dagger. Ah, you must be here about those pesky patrol schedules. After all that clandestine correspondence, it's a pleasure to finally meet you in person. Nine now, times out of ten. Well, look at you. I'm impressed. The last person House Drez sent over was so much more. The noble's banished son. Why does House Drez care about that? Never mind. Anything so we can get to the good stuff. Ulron was... Ulron's dead. Hmm. I hadn't heard. As to who was behind the test of Ulron's loyalty, what does that matter? He failed and... You aren't clever enough or pretty enough to avoid what's about to happen, Dolvra. What's the meaning of this? Who are you people? I'm a Morog Tong, with a writ that says you're a criminal and a traitor. 
That means I get to end your miserable existence. Take another look. Alakir massage oils? Fancy. But that has nothing to do with Auron. More proof that Dolra was in bed with both House Halalu and House Dress. Captain Brithen's seal. Yep. I suppose our evil counselor courted favor wherever she could find it. Captain Briven appears to be more involved in Auron's fate than I had imagined. Yep. He never struck me as the type to use murder and deceit to get ahead, but that's the problem with greed. It causes decent people to make stupid choices. Or he's trying to hide something. The letter mentioned an intact squad sent to scout the old fort. We need to get out there and see what those soldiers know before Briven gives them new orders and they disappear. I suppose she's probably pulled tight as a bowstring waiting to hear something. Go talk to Vea while I present my writ to the authorities. I can't wait to see the look. I got a feeling going out the front door is not going to be a good idea. Going in the front door was bad, but going out the front door is not. I'm a ruin. A single spot of deep water.
Dark Elves, Lords, and Argonians eventually work together. If not, they might be Back again? Took your sweet time. You didn't learn anything, did you? Not that it matters. What good is that going to do? They won't speak to us. House before family and all that. Believe me, I'm more than familiar with redder and honor. Still, I suppose I know a few ways. More rules. I thought we were beyond those kinds of limitations. Look, I need to figure out who's responsible for Oren's death. House counselors. Red Riven was Oren's best friend. Would he really betray my brother? Regardless, I want you to have this. You could have handed me to my father and you didn't. Other than Naryu and Asher. So which soldiers are we talking about? I know most of the people my brother used to work with. Eyewitnesses are better than notes in the house registry. Provided I can actually get them to talk to me. There's no time to waste. That fort's near the cave. We'll get Vatala and his soldiers killed. I know the process. Turning in a rick can take hours, maybe even an entire day. I'll leave. Let me gather my gear and write a note for Nariu. I'll meet you near the Thlormoran stronghold. The more I think about it, the more con As far as I'm concerned, rules got my brother killed. They don't apply to me anymore. That's what the handbook says. Look. I know what Nari's done for me. To keep me safe. No, never. You and Nariu aren't my enemies. I know Vatala. He's a typical wit. Oran had a habit of putting the needs of others ahead of his own. He probably told Vatala and his soldiers to remain quiet. You're here, I'm here, the damn cultists are here. You know who isn't here? Vatala and his... Nariu's probably busy clearing her writ, and we don't have time to wait. This opportunity to learn more about what happened to... Or Fine, you wait for Nariu. I'm going to go and find those soldiers. Their orders were to scout the old stronghold. I suggest we search along the outskirts and see if we can... Bedroll, still wrapped and ready to use. Standard issue for a Redoran soldier. Redoran officer's sword. 
No Redoran soldier would leave that behind willingly. Yeah, that's fucked up. Fucked up, fam. Corporal Darble. I knew him. But the others, they're civilians. They must have taken Tellum's soldiers inside. Let's find the soldiers and get out of here before these stupid cultists realize what's happening. Who's that? We won't let you take us without a fight. Wait, Bea, is that you? Thank the three! You're all still alive! I'm not sure what you and Bea are doing here, but let us out. Then we can return Bear to her father. Counselor Eris has been terribly worried since she disappeared. This isn't the time or the place to have that discussion. One of the cultists carries the key. I don't think he's too far away. You find the key. Me and Vassala. We're going to have a little chat. for the Prince of Bargains. I knew I shouldn't have told Bear the truth. I just made everything... I told her what she wanted to hear. I was with Captain Ulram the day everything happened. I was commanded to lure the Ashlanders to town and set up a situation for Ulram to deal with. My orders were to invite the Ashlanders to Balmora to trade, send some local toughs to instigate a commotion, and then get Ulram to investigate. It was just supposed to be a loyalty test. Who expected Ulram to kill his own soldier? Captain Brivan, though he was still a lieutenant at the time, as soon as I explained all this to Vea, her face turned dark and she stormed out of here. I think she... How dare you! When House Redoran hears about this, you're going to regret your actions! Let me know. Your ass over here, hero. We've got us. I leave you and Bea alone for a couple of hours, and everything goes to oblivion in an ore cart. Why did Bea leave the. The three don't condone such violence.
Okay, guess I'm using it. Okay, I'll just wait till the... alone for a couple of hours and then you did what i suppose you thought that was a good idea that explains why Vea broke into the kin house i'm not sure what happened in there but she certainly stirred up the if Vea kills briven without a writ the morog tong and house redwin will both want her head on a silver platter you check the kin Scour the streets, search the buildings. Vea Relef does not leave this city. What's the meaning of this? Where are the soldiers? If you're looking for my husband, I'll tell you the same thing that I told that brazen young woman. The council is meeting outside Balmra, and Briven is protecting the councillors. And if you don't mind, I've had... I could barely make sense of the nonsense she was spouting. It was Vea, Councillor Eris's daughter. Everything she said was a rab... She had a knife, but no, she didn't harm me. She said her brother wouldn't hurt an innocent. You shouldn't get involved. That young woman will hasten her own death if she thinks she can get past my husband and his soldiers. But if you were... Dead soldiers? They were just protecting the kin house. Oh. I'll go stay with my sister in Vivek. Please tell me you found Vea. I can already. Is Vea trying to get herself killed? You can't just barge into a Redran garrison and ask the soldiers to stand. She murdered soldiers without a writ. This is a dark path she's decided to follow. And unless we play this... What is with all the Redoran soldiers? Did something happen? I wonder if it has something to do with... Guard every exit. If Vea tries to get into or out of the city, we'll find her. The looks of this, Riven is using war claws to patrol the garrison instead of Redran yeah. soldiers. Either house forces are stretched thinner than I thought. Maybe nothing, maybe everything. We know Ulron refused to employ mercenaries. He hated counting on thugs to do the right thing. I expect the Redran council feels the same. The war claws may be a blessing in disguise, 
I can explain killing these bastards a lot easier than trying to wipe a red one. There's no stealthy way to approach this. The front doors are open. Right. Guns blazing it is. Glad to see we all made it. Now let's find Brigham before they are skewer of him. This one wonders if the mythic shade king is fake news. Like many red, he's going to be as mad as a bull net. Nothing yet, eh? I hear voices behind this door, but it's locked tight. Keep looking, hero. I haven't so much as heard or seen even a whisper of Brigham. It's always important to figure out where a target keeps its wine. In this, and I'll figure out. Captain Brigham is on his way. Soon we'll have a permanent job in House Redoran, yes? Uh. Kill the intruders. They have interfered for the last time. What's going on down here? It sounds like a... You! What are you doing here? Explain! What in the name of the three are you up to? I thought you worked for Councillor Eris. You better have a damn good... Vea? She's barely out from under her mother's apron and she presumes to judge my actions? No matter. Whatever your motives... No ah, now everything becomes clear. Vea learned something of her brother's fate and wants to retaliate. You're looking for the responsible party. Then look no further than Councillor Eris. He wanted to prove his son's loyalty to the house. A test Ulran failed. Eris was devastated when his son sided with the savages, and his daughter ran away. He decided to resign his position. He'll make the announcement today. Eris hopes to restore his family, but I think... Hmm? Ah, that's who that was. Choke on your own blood, you bastard. My father... The entire council, they're all guilty. 
They all have to die. I have He's to lost it. So stay out of my way. They are actually they are killed Brithen without a writ. It was pure focused rage. I never expected her to go through with it. I'm not sure they deserve to be saved, but that's what we have to do. They can't be allowed to kill the counselors. I we the Morog Tong only recently began to find acceptance again. Bea's actions don't just reflect badly on me. We have to get ahead of her. Cut her off. There's a door on the main floor, near the kitchen. Nothing's more important than reaching the council meeting. If the mercenaries get in our way, cut them down. To panic. No need to panic. She's cut down every mercenary in her way. Her father won't be able to stop her. Bay is getting close. We're running out of time. Let me try to open this door. Bea, your turn. I'm so sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. Come on, stubborn, stupid rock. Why? Does the house really matter more than your own son? I needed to protect Uron, to prove his loyalty. If I could do it all over again. But you can't. None of us can. That's why I have they to do no. this. That's an order. I'm not your apprentice anymore. The house has grown corrupt, evil. That's why all the counselors have to die. I don't want to. Bloodshed. So much needless death. If only Eris would have listened. Outlander, we should speak. I think we can help one another. Mm. Find that hard to believe. The Morog Tong agent. She cares deeply for Veya, doesn't she? It takes great courage. A series of regrettable decisions led to this family tragedy, and most of them were made by Eris Relic. I knew of Ulron. Eris convinced Brithen to test Ulron. Then the two of them decided to slaughter the Ashlanders. Though the Council allowed itself to be convinced that exile was an appropriate punishment. But we were wrong to let it go as far as... I didn't say that. But we're not butchers. We do not hire mercenary thugs to wipe out an entire people. This gathering was to deal with that. Eris planned to step down. House Redoran behaved poorly. Morag Tong rules were violated. I suggest we make sure these details never see the light of day. Leave the bodies where they are. We will say that Veya died. Cooperate with House Redoran and hold your tongues. It's as simple as that. I shall return to the council. Uh, I'm not sure about this. It's a generous offer. But those are some big secrets to sweep under a rug. The High Counselor thinks we killed her. The deal hinges upon all of us forgetting this sorry mess ever happened. 
Besides, once... When have I ever been able to convince Vea to do anything she didn't want to do? There's veteran blood on Vea's hands. Once the Morog Tong ties those unauthorized... I don't see many options. We can either finish off Vea now, and go along with the High Counselor's deception, or we slip out of here with Vea. You're... You're right. If anyone's to blame, go on. I'll get her out of here before the Council notices and meet you in Vormora. How many times have I told you not to stick your blade in your apprentice's Nayu? She'll live, but you can't stay here. Not after what she's done. I've got that covered. They won't be staying in Vardenfell. Ashur did an outstanding job. For an assassin, he's got a gift for the healing arts. Bay is going to live. Yeah, and as far as she knows, she did. Now Vea needs to disappear. Otherwise, both Redwin and the Morog Tongue will go after her. Believe me, nobody survives that kind of attention. Vea didn't ask. I've arranged for a ship captain I know to meet us in Vivek City. From there, Vea will sail to Somerset and rendezvous with an associate of mine. It's kind of furry and a bit of an ass. I know who that is. As long as everyone I got a feeling I know who that is. I go about my usual business. A rich here, a nice bath there. Maybe a few intimate encounters along the way to relieve the tension. You understand? Always, hero. Oh, hey, I want you to have this. Something to remember me by until we meet again. I hope you don't leave here with the impression that all dark elves are conniving dirtbags. Some of us are also kind of sexy. Like me, for instance. Nari. What happened? Quiet bear. Rest now. We can talk later.
It's hide bandits. Jesus, it's been turned to stone, I think. Jesus. The fuck? I mean, these are like stone creatures. run through this.
Oh shit, got a full inventory. What was he trying to do? recognize you. You've made a terrible mistake in coming here. <laughs> you really haven't figured it out. You're denser than those stone fiends. Master Reaver, something like that. But what does it matter? I'll be frozen solid soon. Black as midnight. A commodity. Nothing more. None. Well, none that I've discovered anyway. I speak modestly when I I guess I could squander my remaining hours searching for a remedy. What? Afflicting all these miners? Oh, spare me your crude moral outrage. They were wastrels. They... None. I did... Why do you even...
It's the elevator that I was thinking about. Before. Ah, I'm glad to see you made it back in one piece. So, what have you learned? What? Well, that sounds ghastly. To think that my own brother would be capable of such a thing. Well done. I have a final task for you, if you're willing. I must take this to the Trade Baron, Councillor Riven. He's staying at the bar. Travel to the Rethan Manor House and retain Venna. Once I've explained matters to Riven, send Hlalu constables to collect my brother. After this, I'll ask nothing more of you. Not long. He tends to be... They will punish him. Severely. He'll definitely lose his share of the estate and... That the men I worked tirelessly to hire were being used as fodder for some vile experiment? Absolutely. Yes, I hired him at my brother's insistence. Something about valuable books. I see. That is... Unfortunate. Oh, the goblin. Uh oh. Ah, the last piece of the puzzle. Time to tie up loose ends.
Uh, you fucking freak. The dude set me up. It was actually his brother that was fucking evil. I mean, not the one that died, the one that tried to put the blame on the other guy. So I'm sure I have. I am. Young Marler and I were talking about the sudden success of his mining enterprise, built on some irregularities that I'd prefer not to discuss. Not that it's. My, my. This is damning. Dear Marler tried to hang this whole business around his brother's neck and yours. A prudent, albeit sloppy affair. How Slalu can ill afford such a scandal. What would I do with him? Chain him to a post? His life no longer serves the house's interests. I don't. His city residence, I expect. Just a... No. What scroll? Don't tell me there's more to this fetching war. Does it now? Listen carefully. Don't breathe a word of this to anyone else. If Mara has this formula on... By the truly... What a... All of it. Hold on, give me a second.
Quietly now. Is it finished? Well then, this unfortunate little tale comes to an end. Uh, excellent. Best hand it over to me. Something so dangerous should not fall into the wrong hands. You sniveling little swit. Do you know how valuable... Never mind. <laughs> What's done is done. How can you but react like that? Expect any extra coin from me now. You'll have what was promised for killing Marla and not a drake more. Do you make a habit of randomly accost? I don't see how that's any of your business. Whatever this is about, it's no concern of mine. My father managed to lead me out of his life. He can lead me out of his problems, too. Dark Elf! My, you look like a well-traveled individual. If you're looking to give your mount a well-deserved rest, you've come to the right place. My father? Oh no, has he taken a fall? Or did he ask you to do something for him? He's been declining of late. Oh, Nils. He was so young when mother passed. I've tried to explain that father had to work to keep a roof over our heads, but it's been... Oh, yes. Father is well regarded among the Tovani masters, even though he's never aspired to be one himself. I'm afraid I don't know. All he's been able to tell me is that part of his contract with Master Drenum forbids him from disclosing... I wish he didn't have to work so much. Master... I did for a bit, after Mother died. Mm.
waste works. No reason I thought that was W A S T E last time. I'll be at this a while. I believe there's only one more I can do. Open for business. This one. Oh. Oh, right. I don't actually need that then. Damn, I should have checked that earlier. Go, you know. I can help clean things up around here. I know how to keep a low profile. This isn't up for debate. You're going.
Rekude. Rekuda. Rekuda. Kuro. Mako. Rekuda. Fucking. Kude. Mako. Rekuda. I'm gonna get to forty eight today. Mako. Rekuda. Kuro. Mako. Rekuda. I won't get it this time. No. Okay. Dark elves, lords, and Argonians actually work together. If not, oh, Keelan, look, a dweller here. It's in remarkably good condition. Yes, wonderful. I'll mark it down. Just, I'm nervous. Whatever for? If anything attacks us, I'll protect you. I'm not nervous about an attack, Bravora. It's just, well, there's no good way to say this. To say what? Ah! Are you serious? <laughs> Well, I planned to propose at the falls, but today we didn't go to the falls. I, I had to improvise. <laughs> this is why you've been so nervous. Yes. Wait. Did you just agree to marry me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> A dozen times, yes. My dear, distracted, adorable archivist, I will marry you. That's wonderful. 
Isn't it? Oh, Bravora, you won't regret this. You are the stars to my sky. <laughs> Did you just come up with that? Well, um, no. I've been saving it for the right time. It's lain undisturbed. It could be years, decades even. I'd hope to find more Dwemer relics, but I suppose the view is inspiring. It mm. certainly is. Go on, mushrooms. John Fungas. With a real kitchen and a second bedroom, uh, perhaps even three bedrooms. Uh, one step at a time, dear. Open your eyes. Please open your eyes. Yes. Yes. You fought them off. Oh, good. Dying for nothing. What a relief. Embarrassing. You're not going to die. I won't allow it. That's ambitious of you. I can mend more than a scrape knee. You'll see. Just don't move. Feels better. I told you. You're still bleeding. Just a little more. I can save you. I will save you. Take care of the children. For me. Promise. We'll take care of them together. Promise me. I will, I promise. But keep your eyes open. I wish I could. Bravora! You've made these years so hard. Bravora! Bravora! That's fucking sad. Yo, 
your wife signed a contract, Gilan. She did not complete it. But she died. And now the crystals she was to procure for me have been acquired by my rival. I... Mm. I've lost the mother of my children. Your failings are not my problem. We don't have enough money to pay you back. You tell Vani. We will sell your house. We can't do that. Master, please. My, my children. May purchase their own dwelling with their own money. Nary has only just turned eight. And Mills. You would offer an alternative? What can I offer you? I understand you have some aptitude for magic. You will serve me, but my children will remain in your home so long as you do not violate our contract. But who will raise them? When will I see them? You will see them when I don't need you. Or would you rather see them in the street? No, of course not. Thank you, Master Drenum. I will serve you. You sign your contract today. Everything I need to explain. Well, to talk with my children. Ask my children to come visit me. I feel like I can finally leave them with the answers I've never been. Naria works at the stables. She's always been good with Guar, something she inherited from her mother. Mills will likely be fishing on the canal for dinner. He's always kept. to bother me again. I have nothing to say to that man. What is it about I don't want to talk about my... I don't want his money any more than I want his apologies. Does that man really think he can buy me off after ignoring me my entire life? Leave me alone. If father needs... Oh, you just don't give up, do you? Fine. I'll endure another few... Again? Father hasn't been an undue burden to you, I hope. My mother? Father rarely mentions her. I can tell how painful it is for him to recall her, even after all these years. How odd. Father always was dabbling in magic. Often it seemed like he had time for little else, though I know he did it to take care of us. Still, I'd better check up on him. I imagine Mills will... No one persuades Mills to do anything. not wish to be disturbed until you arrive. Let go, Mills. He's still your father. What do you want? He has an odd way of showing it. Father, Mills has come to visit. Father? <laughs> father! Oh, Father. I suppose you are with Mother. Couldn't resist last. disappointing me one last time. Good riddance. Fuck you. If only I thank you. We all knew this was coming. Remorse paid to do so. 
What? A ghost? Nadia. Nil. I so regret not being that as you grew up. What I could never tell you was why my life was not my own. Shh, Nils. I think this is a memory. Soon, I'll be able to share the truth with you. To share everything with you. Thanks to the efforts of this kind traveler, I have archived my memories on this stone. I hope one day you will find it in your heart to forgive me and find the father and mother you never had. Here, I love you. I have always loved you. You've both made me so proud. Father. Why? Why couldn't you just fade away like you always do? Why couldn't you just let me forget you? Because it's not just about him, Mills, or you. It's about all of us, our family, together at last. You must have been so hard on Father, to have to leave us so often, to keep us silent. I thought I knew my father. I always thought he hated me. That's why he was never around. Okay. Uh, let's do Master Snack, I think. on the way. I've received assurances from House Redoran. They will handle this trouble in the mine. You need only be patient. Patient? The foreman just... I presume you've come here soon. ...out of the mine and he's worse than the rest. This is on your head, Mobena. I presume you've come here seeking work. I'm afraid the mine may be closed for some time yet. Not too long, of course. Anyway, feel free to stay as long as your coin purse allows. Our innkeeper will no doubt appreciate the business. Not sure if you can see that, but there's a mimic with its giant tongue out and its teeth. Got a penny, this one's going to be in my face. Some of our egg hands have fallen ill. We've elected to keep them in the mines until we find the source of the sickness. Just a precaution, mind you. Surveyors from House Redoran should be arriving any minute to, you know, survey. Huh? Trapped? No, don't be absurd. It's not as if they're itching to leave. Look, House Redoran will sort this out. Speak to Foreman Lothar if you have other questions. He's just over there by the mine entrance. I have other matters to attend to.
change my mind. The spirits could be dealt with by simply slashing away at them. I'm going to take a moment to make an assumption. You're somewhat versed in fighting, or at the very least defending yourself. It's your aura and the swagger that give it away. Are you looking for work by chance? Maybe. My outfit specializes in spirit intervention, investigating hauntings and putting lingering spirits to rest. Guess hunters. Not always welcoming though. In cases like our current job, we need someone to watch our back. At least in this world, Ghost Hunter is actually real. This ghost is real. At least, my level up, but it's more obvious that they're real. We're to cleanse a malicious presence on lands recently acquired by our employer. I know very little about the area, other than the Ashlanders think it's cursed. Whatever the presence is, it likely won't sit idle while we exercise it. Hence, you. Our destination is an old fortress far to the north, accessible only by a small pass in the mountains. There's an Ashlander camp outside of it where we'll be stopping for supplies. We may find out more from them. The friendly gentleman talking to us earlier, Lord Thanlin, that's our employer. He just purchased a writ for the land the fortress sits on. Says he got it rather cheap, too. I imagine the spirit infestation must have lowered the price a bit. First, we figure out why they linger. Is it a cursed relic binding them? Vengeance for a wrongful death? Looking to say goodbye to a loved one? It's always different. Once we figure that out, it's easier to get them to move on. I can't say it's always been perfect, but my group's the best at what we do. We even guarantee that our client will be fully satisfied or their money back. Won't find other ghost hunters offering that, I promise. I doubt Lord Thonlin knows any more than us. Knowing the type of person our employer is, he likely viewed this deal as too good to pass up and left it at that. Not big on details, that one. This team here? This team's the best ghost hunting team in all of Tamriel. We all have a special connection with the realm of the dead in one way or another. It helps us communicate and problem solve when it comes to spirits. near-death experiences cast a lightning spell while wading in water could put you one step into the great beyond there's just something about having one foot in the grave that ghosts relate to well then maybe we should talk when we're done you could round out our group. We're always looking for a little muscle. We thought Shars knew how to fight. I mean, just look at his arms, but he's a pacifist. So, uh, oh well. Friendly. Okay. That's well, two jobs. Greetings, fellow traveler of whatever town we're in. 
Speak to me as a friend, for that is what we shall become. That is, unless you have darkness in your heart, then we will part as the greatest of enemies. For I only mingle with those pure. Righteous? <laughs> I know. It is the many years I've studied underneath the tutelage of the noblest and most honorable of lords and ladies. My teachers would give their food to the hungry, their money to the poor, their clothes to the naked. They were. So much so, they ended up on the streets with no home, no money, and no food. But they had purity in their hearts, and that's what was important. Until they caught the plague, then most of them died. But they died with honor. Bandara Nama I, Traveler. May the spirits walk among you as an ally, and your shadow never stray from your feet. It is the language of my people's religion and beliefs. It dates back to ancient times when the true gods were worshipped, when mortals and immortals lived side by side as equals. It's very old. I can tell you more about it, for a donation, of course. You have a valid point. I suppose I have to stay competitive or risk letting this old, grand religion fall into total obscurity. The name of our religion is so ancient that the mortal tongue cannot speak its name, what? but it holds the secrets of divinity. Its true followers long ago achieved perfection and left this world behind. Most of their teachings are lost to time. Almost seems like a dilemma. I found their lost archives and scrolls. Just a fraction of the truth, Traveler, but enough. The path of perfection is open to me, and you may follow it. For another small donation, I can give you a copy of the holy texts. Ask me when we return. That's a uh, probably a better view with some of the support material trying to come off. Can't you hear it? The song. It's all wrong. We have to. We have to fix it. Bah. Fresh air's not going to do the trick, boss. Whatever's down there... Has well, it's about damn time. You daffy house rhetoric types have... Wait. You're not house rhetoric. Bah. Should have known better. You'd best move on, stranger. This mine's cursed. It'll snatch you up just like poor Thugbrook if you aren't careful. Sorry for growling and moping. We've just been waiting for these damned redder and surveyors so long. Kind of lost hope, you know? My egg hands are in buckets of trouble. Some strange noise is turning their brains to pudding, driving the Kwama mad too. It's put a hex on them. They won't budge. They just pace and hum and blubber like idiots. 
practically had to beat that brute senseless to drag him out here. Oh, something in that noise, that song. It's got them by the beards and won't let go. Maris, mercy. Thank you, friend. I'm supposed to wait until the Redderin surveyors show up. But to some god with that, I want my people home safe. Do what you need to do, but don't stay in there long. I don't want that song to claim you too. Well, it's barely a song. It's just a mash of notes, you know? It crawls up behind your eyeballs and makes you dizzy, paranoid. I've been working in these mines for years, and I've never heard the like. Might have something to do with all the quakes. Yeah, I, I don't know if you noticed, but Red Mountain's been pretty ornery lately. We've been dealing with minor cave-ins for weeks. Could be that one of those tremors uncovered something it shouldn't have. Sorry, just um, trying to trim off the support material while stuff's happening. clear make things whole but it doesn't it doesn't it has to be fixed open your ears you have to find it the melody it's shattered and hidden you see tucked away in the noise but it's there it has to be it has to be Sorry, I'm just like, there we go. Had some stubborn support material. Bottom. Not time yet. What are you? No, I can't leave. Not yet. I tried to follow the foreman. I did, but it won't let me. Not until everything is as it should be. Not until everything is perfect. Yes, 
Yes, the song. You've heard it. I can tell. It should be quiet. It isn't ready. It isn't perfect. But someone interfered. The ground shook and... All oh, the meddling. They broke it. They ruined it. Yes, yes. But not one of us. No, it's a tinkerer. A meddler. Poking around and breaking things. Soiling them. He Not like a shark or a thing. The song has to be pure, has to be perfect. If not, the consequences. Oh, oh, oh the consequences. It almost sounds like, um, Canada's of the third kind. for now but soon everywhere it's spun out of control can't you feel it it echoes and grows echoes and grows soon it'll be too loud for the mind to contain everyone will hear it everyone has to be fixed has to be perfect The term a construct.
I'll do the black rage. Yeah, it might actually be part of Black Rich. It's connected to it. Organ. Oh God, I'm worshiping it. I had it that time. Curse you, you buzzing hunk of junk. This is spite, isn't it? I'm sorry I broke you, all right? Oh, I should never have touched this damn thing, stupid rev. Ah, gracious! You nearly gave me a heart attack. You're a Redoran enforcer, are you? Look, I I'm near to fixing this thing. I promise. Wait. How are you not a civilize? Uh, oh dear, you're just as mad as the others, aren't you? Look, try to focus. This resonator is broken. I need to set these dials to the correct sequence, but I can't hear the tones. Are you aware of any sequence it could be set to? Just nod. Well, that's disappointing. But uh, random tinkering is the mother of invention, right? I need you to turn the dials until you think they're in the right position. Then pull that lever. Anything you might... That didn't work, but keep trying. There are only 1,024 possible combinations after all. <laughs> we'll have it in no time. Oh, God. Oh! Wait. Oh, no, that's just following the order. Okay, so there's got to be some sort of clue around here. Because I don't think I'm musically inclined enough to actually get it. Colors, it changes color. Set outside of this room. We can talk there. Okay. 
pretty much all the support material removed. Disgusting. Which is exactly what you want a mimic to be. Ah, oh, the hero of the hour. You have my deepest thanks and most heartfelt compliments. The fact that you fixed it in your clearly adult condition. Exemplary work. Just exemplary. Seems like it's quieted down. I do hope it stays that way. I can offer little more than a guess. When you corrected the melody, the resonator returned to a dormant state. Some kind of slumbering function to conserve energy, maybe. What matters is that it's quieted down. Thank goodness. Oh dear, I hope so. Their exposure was fairly limited. If they had remained for another day, though, difficult to say. Please, let the foreman know how truly sorry I am. If there's anything I can do to help, feel free to call on me at my... I do wish I could have done a more thorough study of the resonator. What do you think they would do with such a device? Enslavement, perhaps? No, not enslavement. Oh, that's too obvious. Please, after all you've done, I'd say you're entitled to ask me several somethings. I like this too. A dwarven resonator. A tonal amplification device meant to alter thought patterns. That's my hypothesis, anyway. The tones clearly have a powerful effect on the break. For the dwarves, though? It might have sounded like a lovely song and nothing more. Well, not slavery in the conventional sense. The tone wouldn't compel the listeners to work so much as it would make working a source of profound pleasure. So the workers would be eager to work, you see? They might have even paid for the privilege. Well, again, slavery is a clumsy description. It's, it's more like a transaction. Labor in exchange for brief, pleasurable sensations. Much like the skooma trade. I guess that's not much better than slavery, is it? Of course, this is all just conjecture. I'm just taking a try to. I hail from House Telvani, a house obsessed with magical antiquity. You don't seem like an asshole, though. Really a need to tinker with, well, everything. I won't make excuses. I knew there were risks. But honestly, he had no idea that the miners would be exposed. Of course not. I spent years surveying this ruin. I took so many precautions. Unfortunately, when I engaged the resonator, there were a number of minor tremors. They breached the wall between the ruin and the mine. The rest is tragic history. Yes, several days in fact. I erected a series of oral wards to protect myself from the resonator's effects. I could tell I was slipping. Another few days and I'd have been as mad as those egg hands. I had to get creative. Yes, the wondrous power of Kwama wax. Given a few minutes of heat exposure, it hardens and expands. Great for plugging leaks, mending furniture, and protecting you from ancient dwarven...
You did it. My egg hands started stumbling out of the mine a few minutes ago. They've got some bumps and scrapes and more than a few headaches, but otherwise no worse for the wear. What happened down there? A dwarven what? How did... I've worked those mines for years, and I've never seen a scrap of dwarf mischief. Where is this snow-backed dark elf? It was that Telvani Skiva Revis, wasn't it? Huh. More Telvani trickery. And to think, I'd almost warm to that little dolt. Ugh. Enough grumbling. I'm just grateful that my people are alive and safe. It's only because of you, friend. I'll raise a bottle of mead to you every... With a couple of days rest and a few stiff drinks, we'll be up and running again. I guess I should go check on the queen at some point. She's probably a nervous wreck. Always been a little... What? No, that can't be. The queen's the heart of the mine. We mine eggs for Mara's sake. Can't very well run an egg mine without eggs, can you? Uh, I I'm sorry. It's been a rough... Revis. I want you to find that scrawny little wizard and tell him the bills come due. He wants to help? Well... Now's the hawking time. Revis lives just north of here. You'll see a tangle of old rope bridges and rocks. Kine only knows what that wizard does out there. Make sure you really lay into him, huh? I'd do it myself, but I've got to take care of this lot. Ah, of course not. Too busy praying and hollowing out bugs, no doubt. But make no mistake. If they find out a Talvani mage has been poking around in their territory, they'll come down on this place like a Dawnstar gale. Now that's a question for Revis. Frankly, I don't give a damn how he fixes it. He just needs to fix it. Tell him to use some of that Talvani magic to conjure up a queen or something. Wait, that's a terrible idea. It'll probably end up eating us. Then it'll fall to the houses to sort this mess out. Of course, they'll probably be too busy posturing. I knew that Telvani would betray us eventually. We should have cast him out years ago. Holy shit.
the gold must be next to the platinum. belong to Galgala and his curse. You sent those people to their deaths. Your tales of make-believe may scare off gullible travelers, but not me. Those ruins belong to me now. My people will be cleansing this curse in no time. You will only Wait. join Galgala's collection of puppets. If we see you again, we will assume you are a vessel of his and kill you on sight. Oh, I'm in the wrong body, you like Ah, uh, that's helpful. Well, at least I got the waste run for the next place. This one is just a token. So, my thinking is, I need something to represent monsters when I don't have any minis printed out for them. So, I needed some kind of token, and I found one on Singiverse. Like this little thing. I'm not sure if you can see it very well. It's not the best print, but it's pretty good. I wonder if it's a little bit big oh, it'll do the job keep printing that's all I've got plenty I reckon should be enough I'll do the same thing for NPCs but probably not 20 probably less How many eggs did they take? Ah, hello again, my friend. All's well in Nisus, yes? I heard the bustle of the town when I returned home. It would seem our work in the mine was a success. What a relief. You care to join me for... Wait, what are you doing all the way out here? Oh, dear. 
That is a problem. Damnable resonator. That is the last time I randomly flipped switches on an ancient dwarven machine. Never let it be said that Revis Demnavani shirks his responsibility. Well, in addition to being a Dwemer scholar, I'm a compulsive egg collector. What? I have diverse interests. Anyway, I happen to possess a royal Kwama egg. Tucked away in one of the beast's roosts, I suspect. Uh, I'm not sure which one, though. Uh, find as many Cliff Strider egg heaps as you can, then mark them with this device. You shouldn't have any difficulty finding the egg heaps. Just look for giant piles of hardened mud and feces. Did I mention that feces would be involved? No? W well, there will be feces. Honestly, your guess is as good as mine. I've never been interested in the brutes. They steal all sorts of things. Guars, furniture, spare keys. They pack them in mud and feces along with their own eggs. Puzzling, truly. I guess it's possible. Like I said, cliff striders are very odd and unpredictable. All the more reason to find the egg quickly. Ah, well, it only appears... It appears I should have used the bridge. Yeah, maybe I'll get lucky. Sounds like a heartbeat.
excellent work finding those egg heaps. Really, first rate. Now comes the real challenge. The mud slurry encasing the eggs is hard as obsidian. There's well, really no way to tell the one I just come from. Royal egg until we crack open the casing. Right on, boys. Simple. We bring them all with us. I'm confident at least one of these heaps contains the royal egg. Of course, there's the other matter of getting the eggs out without breaking them, but oh, don't worry so much. I mean, you managed to disable an ancient dwarven resonator with zero training. Until your house shows up, we have no other options. Please tell me you have good news. I don't. A royal egg? The Telvani had a Kwama queen just lying around? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. This might actually work. It would take an army to shove a full grown queen through that mine, but an egg? Of course, always a catch. Whatever you need to do to break that egg out, you do it. I'm gonna... Sorry for the delay. <laughs> Getting the eggs down here was trickier than I thought. Greetings, Foreman. It reminds me of um. A mutual friend told me everything. Where are these egg heaps? Oh yes, I'll put them down by the dock. Should make the cleanup a bit less onerous. <laughs> uh, feel free to go down there and inspect them. I'll just need a moment before we begin. This better work. We've got a lot riding on this. Loftar's gone, right? Good. I have news. Of the unpleasant variety. Based on the looks of the egg heaps, I'd say our royal egg is near to hand. Our misadventures in the mine gave me an idea. Kwama seemed particularly susceptible to tonal magic. And tonal magic. What? No. Simple music and a dash of magic should do. We just need a bard. Preferably one that puts people to sleep. I can amplify the. Yes. And what's more, I know a bard who can do it. Vigard the Sparrow. He's a talentless hack, but he's proven very adept at putting audiences to sleep. Word around town is that he's headed south. Is a warrior without peer. Alas, all my gold was squandered on beer. But I'm sorry. I always sing when I'm nervous. But I don't have any reason to worry now, right? No reason to quake and shiver with fright. Nisus? Those dirty miners don't understand my craft. Practically tossed me out of my ear the last time I visited. Rebus has always been kind to me. Something lost. There you are. Are you a party to the? We're paying some bard to sing to dung piles now to soothe the royal egg with the power of music. Are you all deranged? Yes, we report this latest disaster to House Redoran, and they force House Telvani to pay for our losses. While they're at it, they... That's... 
that's beside the point. The house is very busy, dealing with some pressing threat to all of Vardenfell, no doubt. They'll be here. The foreman wants to see you. He's down with everyone else at the docks, preparing for this latest farce. While you are all playing your games, I'll be giving my report to House Redoran. They should be able. Here's my favorite hero. Remember what I told you, Big Art. The sound of your voice should help soothe the queen. Just sing from the heart. I will, Rebus. Settle in, everyone. I've written a song for just this occasion. I think you'll enjoy it. Oh, Kwama, sweet Kwama, don't you wanna be a mama? Something's happening. I think. Oh no. What is that? Oh, look at that. Just a oh baby. no! Something's wrong! Everybody run! That was your last chance, Revis. To song guard. Manor is right. The resonator activating, the queen getting killed, that poor bard losing his life. It's all my fault. More like quarantining myself. I'm a natural disaster masquerading as a person. If I just sit here quietly, no one... You know? Fetch it. You're right. I'm the one who got the miners into this mess, and I'm going to damn well be the one who gets... I knew I could count on you. Head to the mines and look for the nursery. I'll retrieve the royal egg and meet you there. Once we plant the egg, the workers will almost certainly attack. Thank goodness you're here. We have to hurry. Our little queen to be is stirring. Yes, and soon. We need to get Her Majesty inside the nursery. Yes, exactly that. Kwama workers produce a pheromone unique to their colony. Unfortunately, these colonies often compete over resources, making them natural enemies. Hence the infanticide. Now, if you don't mind me... After you. Once this is down, the other Kwama are going to try and stop it from hatching. Make sure it does. Once they see it's a queen, they'll leave it alone. I'll head outside to ensure no one comes in before you're done. Good luck.
Damn it, Manuel. Are these Redoran Oathmen ever going to arrive? Where are they? They'll be here soon. The chance to punish this treacherous Telvanni is too good to pass up. I was wondering where you'd gotten off to. What? You're, you're not joking, are you? I mean, uh, so... Revis wasn't trying to destroy us after all. He's still got a lot of explaining to do, but for what it's worth, I'm happy I was wrong about him. Oh, God. Here, take this. Without you, we'd still be dragging half-mad miners out of there. It'll take some time to get the mine up and running, but with a new queen, I bet we'll be even... Revis, our friend here told me what you did. I'm still madder than a shaved cave bear, but you're free to go. What? Excuse me? You got us a queen. Don't get me wrong, I don't want you mending my clothes or making my food. I'd probably wind up naked and poisoned. But you did what you said you'd do. That's good enough for me. Have you lost your mind? This miscreant can't be allowed to leave. House Redwin will hear of this. I'll report you too! I'll report this whole fetching town! <sighs> I'd be worried if I thought Manuel's word counted for anything. Stay out of trouble, Revis. I mean it. Well, I certainly didn't expect that. I thought the foreman was going to strangle me with his belt, but now we part company as friends. Remarkable. I owe it all to you. Without your help, my head would be decorating some Red Orin's parlor. I'm at a loss. Help with the mine, of course, provided Lovedar lets me. I have to learn to fix my mistakes, or better yet, to not make them in the first place. I suspect the miners are still suffering from the resonator's effects. I'm sure I could brew a remedy. I'm getting the impression that Manor's threats don't count for much without the foreman's support. I doubt I have much to worry about. Thank you again. If you ever need another rare egg or need something broken, <laughs> feel free to call on me, all right? Those ruins belong to Galgala and his curse. You sent those people to their deaths. Your tales of make-believe may scare off gullible travelers, but not me. Those ruins belong to me now. My people will be cleansing this curse in no time. You will only join Galgala's collection of puppets. If we see you again, we will assume you are a vessel of his and kill you on sight. You have been warned. These Ashlanders are fools, stuck in their primitive fictions. Galgala and his curse are supposed to scare me? Ha! Wait, who are you? Why are you speaking to me? Well, you're tardy. I sent the others ahead. May as well settle in here. At the rate you move, they'll be back before we finish this conversation. And whose fault is that? Every day that land sits useless. It's my coffers that suffer. I wasn't... Malignant spirits. That's enough to do their job. Or it should be, if they're such experts. If you'd like to do yours, Valenvaria... Do not be fooled by the man outside. Gal Galgala is a body shifter. 
A spirit who expels living souls and uses their bodies as puppets. Though his spirit is bound to Valenvarion, once possessed of a vessel, he is free to roam and lure more into his trap. Our wards would not allow evil spirits to enter the camp. Lord Thonlan is simply as the outside people of Varden. If we knew, Galgala would not still exist. Killing him while he occupies a vessel only frees his spirit. The only answer is to offer nothing to him. Wisdom, the man outside. Should have gone with Barwin to set the wards. Assuage your doubts. You made it. Lord Thonlan ushered us out of the camp so fast we almost didn't get supplies. Bastard threatened to pull our contract if we didn't hurry up. Luckily, this case seems fairly standard. Just some mad spirits we need to put to rest. Well, we have a name, Galgala. That'll help us call him out, find out what's ailing him and all that. That'll make things a little bit easier. So long as he's not one of those spirits that tries to possess people or something. <laughs> oh, I'll be back in two seconds. So I'm going to back in if to trim this and I'm going to fill my water up again. Wait, what? Uh, that changes things. A lot. We've only dealt with a possession spirit once. We lost our friend Lonnie dealing with it. That bastard Thanon said nothing about this. We need Farwen's ward set up, fast. She went to set her protection wards around the site. Standard practice is to scout for optimal placement. Find Farwen and make sure those wards get set. It should buy us time to figure things out. That'll be a start. What you need to in order to get Farwin back here safely. We can't waste any time. Possession spirits aren't to be taken lightly. I'd love. 
up to, but she's tight-lipped about the secrets of her old gods. Maybe I should be less stingy in my donations. Shars and I know a trick or two of our own, but it's Farwin's wards that have always kept us safe. We'd be lost without her. I see the ghosts are still on my land, Theo, and here you are just standing around. So good of you to join us, Lord Thonland. I'm sure your motivational presence won't be a distraction at all. You must pardon me a moment. I require focus while I commune with the old gods. They will show me the Dahida of this place and guide my placement of their protective wards. Your help is appreciated. I can fend for myself. But conjuring these wards is taxing, and establishing a spirit barrier is only the first step. I must continually channel the flow of magic to maintain it for any extended period of time. The wards must align around a focal point as near to the haunting as we dare. Poorly placed, the spirit barrier could appear in an undesirable location. Inside solid rock, for instance, and I'll only have the strength to attempt this once. A body shifter? Old gods protect us. Not everyone survived our last brush with something like that. I... Good. These spirits are being drawn to where our wards need to be placed. We need to hurry before it decides to stop toying with us. Ghosts. They must be under the sway of the body shifter. He owns them, body and soul. has lingered here for a very long time but have faith that the old god's power is fair the last one clear the way and we'll be safe soon enough
My righteous friend, what are you doing with your hands? What? It intimidates the ghosts when I stand like this. Well, at least the ward is keeping the spirits out for now. Which is good, considering we're nothing more than vessels to them. I'm not ready to give up my body. We have to get her back, before it's too late. She's not lost. It's no easy thing casting a living soul from its body. We have time, but she's not the only one in danger. This shield won't let... I don't suppose he offered us a handy map or some directions to where he's hiding. No, of course not. This damn spirit wants to use one of our own against us. Well, two can play at that. If we can lure a spirit into this ward, we'll have it under our control. Temporarily, anyways. We'll be able to question it. If the spirit is bound to this Galgala, it'll be compelled to tell us when. By breaking it down to its very essence and then rebuilding it again. I need you to destroy these spirits until you find one powerful enough that its essence... Place the essence in the circle here. We're ready to begin the summoning. Rise up, spirit, and be bound to my command. Why do you summon me, vessels? Vengeful spirit, you will tell us where your master holds our friend. Silence, weaklings. I will speak to the one who brought me here. Wait, that's not how this is supposed to work? <laughs> yes, you are strong. I understand Galgala's interest now. You will make fine vessel. Ask what you will, but our time is short. Determine your questions wisely. <laughs> Galgala does not hide, but a good first question. He is not here. This ruin merely acts as a dungeon for his captive soul. His fortress is near, if you look closely. The lava pass under the bridge of stone. She clings to her shell. Our master likes to toy with his puppets before their end. I remember my death vividly. If Galgala were to be defeated, I'd not be saddened. But there would be consequences. Last question. Choose carefully. Galgala's vessel must be sundered. His essence will spill from it like a broken dam, seeking another victim to drown in the flood. Your friend, most likely. I'm sure you do. I'd like to see how this ends, but alas. And there goes our warder. Guess Farwin's spell could only hold so long without her being here. Warden Nos, I expect my land to be cleared, and soon. Alright, excuse me a sec. Lining, lining up the next print.
we sure are out in the open now, aren't we? I hate to admit it, but we're in over our heads. We have to do something to get Farwin back, but you heard what the spirit said. Shars and I aren't warriors. There's no way we're defeating Galgala. I mean, I know you're supposed to be our bodyguard. I just didn't expect we'd need the position to be taken quite so literally. You know what? I'm going to let you do your job. I might even know where Galgala is. Right. We passed it on our way here, just south. I'll mark it for you. Go and do whatever it takes to save our friend. It's too dangerous to stick around without the wards. We'll drag Lord Thonlon back to safety, kicking and screaming if we have to. I don't care about the money, just save Farwin. But if you do banish God... All right, team, we're packing up and heading back to town. Our friend will handle it from here. What? What are you talking about? You've hardly done anything. I didn't expect you to be serious about this. The lich. I... I have to stay awake. My body feels so heavy, but I... I, I, I don't know. Finish me. End my life before this. What do you know? Oh, my gods. The irony. My fate left in the hands of my faith. I want to live. Divines, you hear me? Right, the wands. That's not an ancient religion. Thanks in case. Our hero returns. Let's hear it for our friend here. We were wondering when you were going to arrive. I told the others to wait until you got here before we began celebrating. But nah, <laughs> good spirits. I'll have to remember that one. Why wouldn't we be? You saved our dear. She said you destroyed his material body and drove him out of those ruins. With Galgala gone, those other bound spirits will. As promised, here's your payment. I even threw in some extra for going above and beyond what we could have ever asked of you. If we ever decide to start an official go- If you all excuse me, I'm going to find some more wine. This day has been quite taxing.
I'm sorry. I just needed to... No one needs to know what actually happened to Galgala. I... I have things under con... I'm thankful for your concern, but the eight will protect me and guide my hand. No. Did I say the eight? I... I... I believe in all gods. I'm sorry. I just need... I'm s no one Thanks. Boss is next. some time in boss I wouldn't linger if I were you you don't have scales or fur so you should be safe for a time the new wizard magistrate when mistress Dratha fell ill house Telvani put Savarok in charge of Voss it was all honey and orchids for a time but not anymore the people are desperate for Dratha to return I'm beginning to lose hope Openly? No. Some work against him in secret, but he sicks his black snail mercenaries on anyone who opposes him publicly. Don't believe me? Ask him yourself. He covets Telmora Tower, but until Dratha dies, he holds court in the Gathering House. Keep your wits around Savarak. He's slippery as a slaughterfish, and twice as deadly. He's a member of House Telvani, like Mistress Dratha. Mistress Dratha is powerful but reclusive. Savarak's a little more ambitious. Technically, yes. Luckily, Mistress Dratha's mouth, Lane Sadri, has been working against him in secret. She's one of the oldest, most powerful Telvanni counselors and a ruler of nearby Telmora, the great fungal tower just across the river. She ruled Voss and lands beyond until she fell ill. Some people think it's just old age. I'm not so sure. A thousand times yes. Our mistress has a mixed reputation. Outsiders often say she is cold and calculating. Maybe, but I don't mind. She cares for us from a distance, intervening only when necessary. She respects our freedom. We pray for her recovery every day.
well. I do hope you'll forgive my candor, but I must ask, what brings a bumbling outlander to my gathering house? Do you fancy yourself a Telvanni? Ah, I see the Noir is well informed. If you know that I am Savayak, you must also know that I rule Vos as its wizard magistrate. Do you bring me some petition, or is this just a social visit? Have a care how you speak, outlander. It is true that certain of Voss's citizens have struggled during this period of transition, but I'm hardly to blame. They've taken Dratha's illness very hard. It's led to idleness and crude insubordination. Someone has to. Dratha's mouth, Lane Sardry, refuses to assist me. She just lurks by her mistress's bedside in Telmora, scheming and fomenting unrest. People in crisis require a firm hand. If that offends your gentle sensibilities, move on. That's coming. I'll check in on her again in the morning. For now, just get some rest, eh? You look awful. Yes, thank you, my lady. And please let me know straight away if you make any progress on the cure. Of course. And I meant what I said. Sleep, Lane. Yes, yes. And who might you be? It takes some pluck to enter a Telvani tower uninvited. Impressive. The situation? The catastrophe, more like. Savarak and his black snail mercenaries are strangling the life out of that town. Savarak won the support of the council shortly after my mistress fell ill. I've always known him to be clever and enterprising, but all this wealth and muscle, that's new. Despots rule with swords and coin. Savarak has an abundance of both. I don't, but I think we can find some answers in Savarak's manse. He's turned the old Derano house into a palace and a fortress. If you break in and find some evidence of corruption, I might be able to turn the council against him. This can't possibly be the first time someone's asked you to snoop through a wizard's manse. Just look for anything that seems out. I wish I knew. Our resident herbalist, Men Wendell, has been developing on a variety of cures. <sighs>
You're back? I admit I didn't expect you to. Honestly, what kind of idiot leaves this many documents lying about? Still nothing about my mistress's illness. Damn. Well, what do we know? How Salala was bankrolling Savard's operation. Right. With someone named Narambis, yes? The Halali's hatchet man here in Voss, no doubt. If they are using passphrases, they must not know each other by name or by... Exactly. Find Narandis near the wharf and use this passphrase. I'll have the few house guards still ready. Fetching time, well, but the stench remains. We tell Varney servants, late, always late. Our plot to kill Dratha proceeds at a snail's pace. I blame myself, in part. Tell Mora's fungal growth has proven to be more resilient to the toxin than I expected. Of course we are, to release lethal spores. What moon sugar cart did they drag you out of? I'm near to finishing the new toxin, but I need to know the current state. Love those guys, little shroom beetles. Quite cute. You still have your head on your shoulders, so it can't have gone all that poorly. Did you manage to learn anything? What? Those fetching bastards! The answer was right here the whole time. Mistress, forgive me. She established a small nursery beside the tower. With any luck, she'll be there. If not, ask her assistant, Grey Skies. Please don't dawdle. I'm not sure how... I'll contact the Telvani Council immediately. I'm sure they'll love to hear about Savarit's tawdry affair with those gold. Indeed. The citizens.
There's someone there. Please help me. Down here. It's you. Pissed be praised. They took her. She didn't make it easy. Mm -hmm. Cut one of their ears off and broke a flask over another one's face. But in the end, they were just too much for her. I heard one of them mention a hideout along the coast. There are a few old pirate dens south of here. Maybe they've claimed one. And Wendell knows more about the fungal tower than anyone. Pissed only knows what they have planned for her. You in face brute. I have moldy bread and I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, sorry about the imp face thing. Your face is really quite. I don't know. Well, never mind. I'm glad you're here. I was just preparing to make my escape. Should be a lot easier now. Well, that's gross. Hmm. Looks like it was stitched to the lower stalk with these striae. Oh no, it's the spores. The growth bent spores into the tower that. Never mind. I think I can help drive her, but I need a sample of the toxin. Mirandus is hiding in here somewhere. If you deal with him, these brutes will scatter like roaches under a lantern. Now, I can make it back to Vos on my own. You get...
There you are. I gave Mistress Drotha some choke root bitters to slow the effect of the spores. But this is like binding a troll's hands with fishing twine. Did you bring the toxin sample I asked for? Perfect. I'll get to work on this right away. Oh, one other thing. Lane took off toward Ross with a handful of guardsmen. I think they mean to arrest you. If you find that oaf, give him a good kick in the head. Varric's gone. Damn that slippery bastard. We tossed his manse, the gathering house, the wharf. We took... Of course, his blacksmith mercenaries have been resupplying there. That must be where he's headed. Selville Island is just east of the tower. If he manages to get away, I'll never forgive myself. It will take me too long to gather up all the town guards. I need you to go after him. Please, Sarah, make sure he does. Jonathan may survive, but I'll make sure he works.
Outlander will come through for us. I know it. You're back. My mistress and I fared the worst. Is it over? Is Savar slain? What a relief. With Mistress Droth as a proof. Monsieur, this is the warrior I told you about. The one that exposed the Halalu plot and struck down Savari. Let me get a better look at you. Hmm. Your eyes are wrong, but your palm. In all my long years, the thought of death has rarely troubled me. I find that people lead much happier lives when they don't trouble themselves with details. Now, Vardenfell is littered with the task I've set. Nothing until they rest. Of course not. Plan? I'm sure. Yes. Hey, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube and check out the Twitch stream live, the link will be in the description below. Or you can check me out at twitch.tv slash modos96. I'll be hopping off to make my dinner, have dinner, clean the kitchen, maybe have some gelato before I stream. Um, either before or during. And yeah. Oh. Okay, that's oh. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye.